What's up friends? Today we start a really exciting part of our journey. We are getting all of our errands done to take the ferry here from Baja over to mainland Mexico. Baja is a peninsula that is disconnected from the mainland of Mexico. So we will be taking a ferry to get there. There's a bunch of steps that we have to do, but we're gonna walk you through all of that today. We just had family touring with us for two weeks, so we're a little whipped. We're at this awesome Airbnb, but we're checking out now. We're loading up the animals and now getting that stuff done. So the first thing that we have to get done today is make copies of all of our documents. Next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to the TMC. We're going to go make a reservation so that we can get on the boat. We're about a week early to when we actually want to get on the boat, but we've heard if you schedule in advance, it makes the process a little less stressful. Third thing that we have to do is we have to go to the ferry and to the bank to get our tip, our temporary import permit to get over and to drive legally on mainland Mexico. So fingers crossed it all goes smoothly today and we got a lot to get done. All right, so that was painless. Check. It was about 16 pesos, which is just about a dollar US yeah. um, to get all of our copies. But now we are headed to the ferry company, so their <gasps> office, to reserve our spot for next week. Let's go. So there are two ferries. There's the TMC and the Baja ferries. We knew right off the bat, as far as price and our animals, the TMC was what was going to work for us mostly because our animals will get put into a cage underneath and they can't be with us in the cabin if you chose to do the Baja Ferries. What is nice about the Baja Ferries is you get a little cabin, you get air conditioning, it's a little bit more luxurious, it's made for people. And the TMC is actually made for truckers. So that is the two big differences, but we knew with price and with animals that the TMC was going to be right for us right off the bat, so that was the only option that we looked into. But if you want a little luxury, Baja Ferries are a great option. Just got out of the ferry office. It was super simple. We're gonna get charged as like, a van or a truck, something like that. Yeah, so if you're smaller, do not go in as a motorhome because that is much, much more expensive. Go in as a van. So if you're under six meters, you can go in as like a van or a truck. So you just park in the TMC office, you walk in, tell them what you want, and that's it. Really simple, and you're, you have a reservation. So we are supposed to be leaving next Friday. Yep. Now we head off to the port, and that's where you go to the bank, the bank, to get your tip. Hopefully it goes smooth. We just ate some leftover tacos de pescado don't go in hungry then you get hangry then you get exhausted hydrated and food that's yep. very important let's go let's go the port is outside of la paz a bit so where we the office we were just at is downtown la paz and then the port is roughly 20 minutes or so so if you get to the port and don't have the right paperwork it could be a little bit of a pain coming back and forth Definitely wish we were titled as a motorhome, not as a van. We need those 10 years. We are going to be in Mexico longer and we need the van in Mexico longer than our FMMs allow for because we're going to renew our FMMs when we leave and come back. But fingers crossed they don't give us a pain in the butt about retitling it. We have friends that retitled it while they were here. They just went to customs. They got a stamp saying it was a motorhome. Um, I mean, it is a motorhome, but on our title it does say a van. So. Fingers crossed, it's not a problem. This guy does not like how slow I'm going, though. <laughs> no rapido. No rapido. I'm going to be pulling into the ferry terminal in here in just a second. I know they don't let you record while in there, so we will report back, hopefully with good news, that we have our tip. So we didn't get our tip. We did not. Like we said, our van is not titled as a motorhome. It's titled as a van. And we found out that the only way you can actually like get approval to get it switched to a motorhome in Mexico is if you're over 7,700 pounds, we which are we are more than a thousand pounds under that. We won't get it for 10 years. We will only be able to get it for the length of our FMM card, which is until mid-June. We spent a couple days here on the beach just figuring out what we wanted to do. Did we want to leave the country from Baja, come back in hopes of getting a longer FMM? 
We decided we're just gonna continue. It yes. wasn't worth the risk because they could deny us entry. And we just didn't wanna risk it with our van here. Our animals would be here and that is just not ideal for us. So we're only gonna be spending three more months here in Mexico, which is very sad, yep. but it is the reality. Now that decision's made, so we're going back to the port <laughs> to actually get the tip hopefully. now. Hopefully, fingers crossed. A little anxious, but we know how it works. We know how to get in and out this time, so not as bad. So. Let's do it. Let's get this tip, baby. We got the tip! Super easy. There we was tried a to finagle. Of at yeah. first. Yeah, we tried to finagle our way to get the RV tip. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Um, it's just cracking down from yep. what we understand. So total cost was what? 260 US? 274 US. Yep. That is because the exchange rate isn't great right now. 74 US dollars of that is no matter what. No matter what. If you're an RV, you wouldn't pay the $200, yep. but that is refundable. So when we leave Mexico, and we'll we get cancel the two, our tip. Yep, we'll be refunded $200. I think that's just a deposit to make sure you're not permanently importing your vehicle. Yeah, for sure. Good morning. It's ferry day, baby. It's ferry day where we are crossing over to mainland Mexico. We've been staying at this RV park just outside of La Paz to recharge our batteries internally and GoPro. Externally? <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling? A little anxious, a little I'm anxious. Just excited. She was super anxious a few days ago, yeah. like wildly anxious. Like had to sleep it off anxious. And now I'm a little anxious. I'm excited, but but just a little like, oh boy, this it's happening. This is the next adventure though, baby. There's, there's just like a lot to think about. And like, when we get to mainland, where do we go? And just- We don't have to lot. bore them with that though. Yeah. Mainland Mexico, here we come, baby. Hey, we're gonna make sure that we stay hydrated. It is supposed to be 88 degrees and sunny, which is probably the, one of the hottest temperatures we've had in Baja but we want to go to mainland. We're ready to go to mainland. Um, we have the reservation in already for the ferry, so we're going, um, weather and all. Last stop in La Paz, we are picking up some fresh roasted coffee. Uh, Gratitude Coffee Roasters here in La Paz is one of my favorite roasters I've been to. Sergio, the guy that runs the place, is fantastic. Staff is always great there. Uh, and I wanna make sure we have lots of coffee beans for our first couple weeks on mainland. We're at Cocos Locos. And we just got a camarón, so a shrimp, cocos locos. We've never had one of these before. It's kind of like a Bloody Mary. And we got these like little peanuts in it. Everything is super spicy. And we actually gave us tostadas to eat with it. And it's very good. I like it a lot. Hola. Muchas <laughs> gracias. Let's do it, baby. Let's board the boat. Let's board the boat. Well, well let's go through. Custom. Customs get weighed, measured, pay for our ticket, make sure there's room for us to get onto the boat. And then board, board the boat. The boat. <laughs> I'm starting to get a little nervous. I'm getting the little butterflies in my stomach. No matter what, when you do something that you've never done, you get nervous, but this like going on a boat with our house on the mainland Mexico, just woo! All the nerves. Just went through customs. Everything was really easy with that. Guy was exactly like how a customs officer should be. Serious, because their job's serious, but not rude at all. So for TMC, you get weighed and measured. Then you go back to the office and pay based on the length of your vehicle. If you're under six meters, it's a lot more affordable than if you're over six meters. Luckily, we're five and a half meters. So let's go get our ticket. Look at what we got! We have our tickets. Oh my gosh, We're officially so getting exciting. on the ferry. It cost us 7,200 pesos, so approximately $380 US at the current exchange Which rate. Which is not too bad. Now I think we wait here until around 3 p.m. And then once that happens, I think we get up and we just get on the boat. Noting that I am like shocked at how easy this was. Uh, so now, easy. knock on wood, we actually get on the ferry and it stays easy. <laughs> If you get the general idea, it's actually very organized. There's a system down, and now we're just chilling for a little bit before we board the ferry. We have some friends here. Just a bunch of other people. We are actually just at the RV park with these folks, uh, and they're actually crossing today with us, I guess. 
so excited. We just met a really, really awesome couple. They're super great, and we will also be meeting them up on the boat, and they're basically going the same route, so that'll be fun. And now it's time to load up, which feels so good, and it actually doesn't seem that busy. Maybe this is a really low-key oh. boat. I'd like to be low-key. I'm low-key. Oh, let's go. Time to get on the boat. Here is our boat. Now we just need to figure out where to go to get on the boat. At three o'clock, they told us we were good to move over towards the ferry. The trucks just started loading up, and I think within the next 30 minutes or so, we should start loading the ferry. This cat's ready to get on a ferry. Ain't that right, Mr. Whisker? What about her? <laughs> Are you sleeping? We got a ferry to board, baby. I'm taking a little nap. It feels good in here. What about the dog? Are you ready to get on the ferry? Man. Everybody's got the same energy in here, but I'm ready to go, baby. Sleepy, 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 excited. We'll be driving up that ramp here I know. in just a couple minutes. Our ferry has a name. It is San Jorge. San Jorge. It's overall going very smooth. Yeah. And it seems to have a lot of organization, which we've heard opposite. You have to be a little proactive, like just making sure you're in the right place, but like... And just like if, ask. Yeah, if you ask, they're like, yeah, go this way. All right, yeah, wait here. here. There is an entire truckload of baby goats that are getting loaded on. Born and raised in Baja. I'm going to cut that. <laughs> Dolly. Hey, going on a boat! <laughs> Can we pop our roof here? I think so, right? Yeah, why not? Yeah, yeah, I can't make sure nothing above us. That was, I mean, we're in a nice little spot. Yeah. This Get isn't bad. Privacy. This is a little privacy. Yeah. Kind of tucked up here in the back. We're gonna put an attractor trailer behind us. There. <sighs> Are you claustrophobic? We were so small that they had this tiny little nook that we could fit into. So we boarded before the rest of the vans that were more like sprinter van style. So Astro van for the win, baby. We're already on. We got our spot secured. It is tight though. And in the back. Woo wee. Doing a time check, it's now about 4.50 and we've boarded. I haven't seen any of the other vans board yet. Our little van home. Guys, if you can see, our van home is right there. Tucked right in. Tucked right in. They were like, okay, little bitch van, get over here. We got a good spot for you. It's fun and we're already up here and nobody seems to care. No, we're in places that like, in the US you definitely wouldn't be allowed to be. Around the ropes and a bunch of crazy shit and they're just like, like do your thing. Do your thing. You get hurt. Your problem. Yeah. <laughs> Furious. <laughs> what an absolute adventure. This is so wild. We've never done anything like this. Like putting your home on a shipping container ferry. It's crazy. <laughs> they put us so close that we don't even know. Oh, don't get stuck. That makes me nervous. You should do the other one from the back. Yeah, I'm going to do the other one the other way. <laughs> Pop that top, baby. My hair in this vlog has been absolute crazy. Oh, it's 
feet. <laughs> what they do is they give you food on the boat. They give you the little tickets for dinner. We are starving. It's been a very long day. Now it's time to eat. We got our dinner. It's like a stewed beef with potatoes, beans, arroz, and tortillas, of course. And it looks pretty good. And then you also get a little hamaca. It's really nice. It looks pretty filling. Let's eat. <laughs> So we're being? See. See. I know. It's really cool. It's so cool. This is the coolest thing. So what's like our cool van's on a ferry. <laughs> we're packed in here with a whole bunch of truckers and like we spend our life on the road and living on the road and so do they. So, so do they. It's kind of like, like we share the roads together and now we're sharing this ferry together. It's kind of coexisting in a way that we don't usually get to even though we're always sharing the same space. Sharing the same space. So, so we're doing the same thing, really. Yeah. We're just not moving anything except ourselves. <laughs> it is 6.44 and we're off, baby. Adios, Baja. It is a little loud back where we are because we are close to the engine. It's like low frequency. And we thought about dropping the roof, but I actually just went up front and it was worse. It's definitely a little bit loud. I didn't expect the noise, but it's just because where we are. Um, but it is what it is. All my pop top people, I know you know this, like you live in a tent, right? Like it can be loud, it can be windy. You're always nervous about the wind. We have a little too much weight on the roof. So we're always worried about the roof. Um, it is definitely a disadvantage, I would say, to the pop top versus a fixed roof is the inconveniences of the noise and the wind. So if you aren't a good sleeper, pop tops probably aren't for you. I think it's still early. It's like 11.30. We just woke back up. I tried to go to bed early because the sound of the engine was getting to me. I did fall asleep, which was really nice. Now we just woke up and it started rocking. The whole van is uh, 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 back and forth. Natalie finally woke us up to pee because he wouldn't pee earlier because he didn't understand peeing on a boat. <laughs> I tried to go back to bed, but it's still only 11.30 and we're still on the bay. Still on the Sea of Cortez. Still on the Sea of Cortez. We're still on the Sea of Cortez. We're gonna enter the Pacific Ocean. Maybe that'll be less rocky, but I'd imagine. No, it'll be more rocky. Yeah, I would imagine it'd be more rocky. Yeah. So we'll see. We're gonna try to go back to bed. Good morning. Good morning, fam. We what made a night. it. <laughs> what a night. We made it. The boat started rocking a lot. Yeah. We got placed it's right above the engine and it's really loud. It's really, really loud. I'm really good at sleeping. And so. I just blocked it out. Yeah. I just blocked it out. We actually slept okay. And now I feel like I'm kind of getting used to the rocking. Like I'm enjoying it. And a the noise. Bit. And the, the noise. Uh, I'm not enjoying the noise, but I'm used to the noise. So, so it's funny, but we're on this beautiful deck right now. Yep. And it's uh, just about desayunos time. It's The man. Man. I the man. Man. It's not, like I see the tires. The tires squish. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. But it's been a night. It also smells like seafood. We must have been put right next to a seafood truck. So it smells a little bit like seafood, um, which is no problem, but it is something else. Breakfast update, wasn't my cup of tea. <laughs> it was eggs with jamon, which were fine, and tortillas and refried beans. But there was some meat that I didn't necessarily love. I think it was like steak or liver. It was one or the other. It was one or the other, he says. 
he ate like half of it. I ate like a bite or two and then I was like, no, not my, not my thing. We're getting close to Mazel Tan, which is really nice. And hopefully we'll be off the boat soon. Watching these birds are so cool. You, the water's pretty clear, so you can see when they dive down, they go down like five foot probably. Getting some pescado. Coming into port is just the coolest thing. Mazatan is so beautiful. And it's like very like lagoon-like. Like there's a bunch of mountainous, palm, mountainous palm trees. Like this whole port is just like functioning. There's cruise ships and fishermen and our boat, and it's just, it's wild. It's awesome. We're starting to unload. We are going to be one of the last people off this boat. We're just watching all the trucks roll off. Our friends got off only 15 minutes only ago. Only 15. It's actually so, going really fast. Yeah. And like um, it's all part of the adventure, right? Yeah. Excited to be in Mexico. Gracias, buen día. Oh, adiós. Buen día. Officially in Mazatlán. Mazatlán. Our journey begins here in mainland Mexico. Woo! Woo! We're here. <laughs> Special shout out to all of our patrons. Your support keeps our adventures going with nowhere to be and all day to get there.